But yeah, Jessica never told me much about you, especially not how beautiful you are. Yeah, I'm kind of perfect like that. She's probably jealous. You know, before her mother, my last girlfriend was a brunette too, actually. Really? Cool, yeah, that's normal to tell me. By the way, I just got these blue oyster cult tickets if you're ever interested. Sorry, I'm not religious. No, no, blue oyster cult. They're a band. Aren't most cults banned? No, a rock band. Oh, never heard of them. So, who do you like? Nobody. I'm gonna go up now. Wait, but I don't think she's done yet. Well, it felt like an eternity talking to you, so if this bitch doesn't have a job by now, I'm pretty sure you failed as a parent. How would I word this? Your dad really wants to fuck me. Well, no way. Yeah way. My dad would never do that. Never or never want to. But how do you know? Why don't you just believe me? Because I don't believe my dad would just go up to you like, let's fuck. No, they never do it like that. I can just tell. He was way too interested. Interested how? He told me I'm beautiful. What if he's just being nice? He asked me where I shop for accessories. He's just looking around for my birthday. Bitch, that's 10 months from now. All right, fine. But if that's all you have, I don't think that's enough to go off of. His last girlfriend was a brunette. His what? He told me his last girlfriend was a brunette. Uh, Nicole. Yeah? My dad wants to fuck you. I know. Oh my god, where are you applying next? Oh, uh, like, Maytag? I don't think I could fit a washer dryer in my back pocket. I'll be at the food court while you do that. Yeah, good luck on your free samples rounds. Fuck that Asian meat on a toothpick shit. I'm getting Popeyes. Did you say feet? Yeah, I just like to... Oh, open-toed shoes. Are you wearing those for a special occasion? No, they're just for work. But yeah, I just love a cute pair of feet. So you don't like ass or titties or any of that? Just the feet? Well, primarily the feet. Oh, hey, Jekka, what's up? Please don't get near this. Oh, okay. So, you ever step on anybody with those? With my feet? No. Oh, well, if you need a hundred dollars, I could pay you to step on me. Step on you? Why would you pay for that? I don't know. I I just like it. It feels good to me. Hundred dollar? Fucking, Jeffrey, I'm gonna be late for work. What about two hundred? Two hundred to step on you? Well, provided your shoes are off, of course. We can do it in a family-sized restroom here in the mall. Fuck, that's like twice what I'm making at work today. What is this? Uh, guys pay me money to take my shoes off and step on them. Why? I don't know. Are they like grapes? You gotta turn them into wine? No, they like it because they're submissive or whatever. Uh, okay, so because they're sub... that, they give you hundreds of dollars to just put your feet on them? Basically. You don't have to take your clothes off, suck dick, anything? Not so far. Dude, that sounds awesome. Let me go with you. For real? Money for some loser to just feel my feet? Hell yeah. (laughs) Jeffrey's bullying is no different from any other student in America. It's literally Jeffrey. Who cares? Like we'd bully the Columbine shooters. Yeah, I fucked the shit out of the Columbine shooters. Excuse me? They killed people. That's cool. All Jeffrey does is bring toys to lunch. They're not toys. It's Magic the Gathering cards. How about you magically gather some friends, bitch? (laughs) That's exactly what I mean. Would anyone like to take a guess of how many bullying incidents occur in America per day? Like five? Thirty-six. Hundred. Is Jeffrey half of those? (laughs) I don't think you get it. You're only here for seven hours a day. Can you do the math? I thought this was health. It means every seven seconds, a K through 12 student is bullied. Huh. Hey, Jeffrey. Yeah? Fuck you, it's been seven seconds. Damn, true. Emily, shut your hoe ass up. What, you wanna fight? No, it's been seven seconds. Oh damn, now I'm gonna shoot up to school. Hey, that isn't funny. Then why did I laugh? Who is gonna sit here? Hey guys, do you mind if I draw a Sento Takahashi fan art in front of you? Assigned seating, Jeffrey. Yeah, so you're gonna have to go somewhere else, sorry. I know it's assigned. Table 12, right? Is this table 12? Yeah, it's 12. Man, fuck 12. Do you really have to sit here, Jeffrey? Yes, I do. I don't want to break the rules and get expelled. Rules that were entirely created just for you and two other people. Okay, let's draw Hikari-chan. But yeah, have you seen a white guy work at Chipotle yet? Actually, no. My cousin works at a Chipotle in Maryland. We weren't asking you. What are you drawing? 
I told you, I was drawing Hikari-chan from Sento Takahashi's Girls Free For All. That was a lot of really heterosexual words. D- does Sento Hakamoshi actually draw it that shitty? No. What? Hey! What's the actual thing look like? Luckily, I have volume six of the manga with her on the front cover. Whoa. Damn, she got some big-ass fucking titties, Jeffrey. I know, but I don't just like her for that. She's really strong and determined to fight for her friends. This is like the virgin nerd version of I Can Fix Her. How does she even fight with those? She does a lot of cool moves. You just have to read it. Cool moves? Sucks and fucks, duh. No, it's a really intricate story without any of that naughty stuff. Why do all these animes have hot girls in a porn-level plot without the sex? So people afraid of growing up have something to beat off to? No, her backstory's good. When Hikari-chan was a young girl, she escaped from an orphanage ran by the evil Kage clan. Then she trained in martial arts and sorcery until she was allowed to join the rebellion at the age of 13. 13? Why does a 13-year-old look like she's ready to suck and fuck her way through an HBO pilot? It's a work of fantasy! There's no HBO in her universe. Yeah, that's what she was getting at. God, I wish I had tits like that at 13. Then I wouldn't have failed algebra. Jeffrey, you don't think it's a little statutory for a 13-year-old to look like that? Look like what? She can't help how her body is. If someone touched you inappropriately, would you want him to say your body makes it your fault? Ah, yeah, that's a really good point. Except for one little part. What? She's not real. Yeah, some fucked up lonely Asian guy drew that in his parents' basement because he wanted her to look like that. Ah, wasn't the point of arranged seating that I wouldn't get bullied anymore? Plus, Marilyn's just a great show anyway. Yeah, he's kind of hot in a kidnap me sort of way. He's like the one man on earth I want to trap me in a hotel room and sexually abuse me. Yeah, you seen the YouTube videos where he just goes on stage and says that? What is it about fame and money that makes us want to ignore a man's flagrant warning signs? Because a rock star traumatizing you is something to actually brag about? True. Letting a Denny's cook do that just makes you feel worthless. This is the county police. We have a warrant to search this residence. Oh, yeah. What you're looking for is in the basement. Uh, But I haven't made you aware of the charges. Oh, we're aware. Just a moment. But yeah, Manson could, like, cut me with broken glass and lick the blood off. It's cool because he's famous. Yeah, I want some rock star welts all over my ass so I can show up at the mental ward. Actually, same. Can you get us backstage? No, I can't afford the drugs and the VIP. Oh, well, hopefully he sees how hot we are and picks us out of the crowd. Bitch, we're on the upper level. Yeah, I need a whole telescope to notice us. I didn't do anything wrong! Tell it to the judge. That girl barely looked 12! Yeah, do you think your dad could give us money for better seats? Seats? My dad won't even give me the time of day. You're under arrest for three counts of digital misconduct with a minor and two counts of child pornography. No, that was an 18-year-old midget in my hot kid's folder. Dude, your dad's lame. Tell it to the judge. Hey, can you guys keep it down? We're trying to have a conversation in here. Yeah, honestly. Oh, sorry. You're not going to help me? You're going to have to tell it to the judge. Let's go. It was an 18-year-old midget. I don't like this. What was that? This Benadryl's fucking my brain missionary. Hey, how's it going? What are you doing here? Oh, I- I'm the hat man. You have any Benadryl? No, I took it all. Damn, every time I show up, too. Are you gonna kill me? I could if you want me to. No, that's okay. Uh, see, it's never the good answer. How would you kill me? Well, I'm made of shadows, so I'd have to go into your brain and get you to kill yourself. This is kind of false advertising. Could you not put me in the same category as McDonald's? When do they false advertise? The 10-piece McNugget? Sometimes you get the Siamese nuggets joined at the breading, and they count that as two and shortchange you an extra nugget. I mean, I kind of count that as two, too. Oh, so I get two McNuggets, half the crispy breading, and I still got to pay full price. You're a capitalist, aren't you? Isn't everybody? You really make me want to make you kill yourself, you know that? Okay, I'll kill myself tomorrow. Can you go? I'm feeling the loose change in your car. 